Good evening. This is Cindy and Brett from Brett and Cindy's Ten Living, and we were drinking coffee and cocoa and planting some tomato seeds. Mm. We're getting our first one started. They're a heirloom that takes 85, 90 days to mature, and seven to 14 days to germinate. So we got to count that up, and we figured we better get started. We had to get them ready because we've got a goal to hit. Our goal is to have the first tomato by when? May the 31st. May 31st. He's always, he, he would always have a, this thing going with his grandmother about getting a tomato out of the garden by June 1st. And she'd always laugh and say, you can try. Closest we've got to June the 9th. And that was last year and she had already passed on. But it's still our goal to get a tomato out of the garden before June 1st. So do that. He brought in this tray. What is this? It's a 50 count propagation tray. There's yeah. 50 holes in it. He brought in a tray with 50 holes for me to put dirt in. So I got my dirt bucket out. Well, he brought the dirt bucket in too. And I got my dirt out and I filled up all the holes. And then he tells me to go about a half inch. So I went knuckle deep. And he said, sure. So I started poking the hose, going knuckle deep. Then he came back and fixed those because my knuckle deep was a little more than the half inch he told me to go. So he had to fix them. So once he fixed them, I get the envelope. And it has Abe Lincoln tomato seeds. I grew Abe Lincoln in 2019. I took one to work one day. Of course, they're all, they was all good big tomatoes. Huge. It was probably a seven or eight inch diameter tomato, three or four inches tall. It's barely to could cut through it with a pocket knife. They just sat in amazement when I was cutting it apart. I never said a word, I just kept carving. But I, was, I cut the outside edge because your seeds and then tomatoes are in a vein on the outside. And if you split the hide just right on the tomato, you can pull the seeds out without making a big mess. I scooped the seeds up, put them in a Coke bottle and a little water and brought it home. We like to let our seeds soak anyway, tomato seeds especially. Two or three days the seeds will settle to the bottom, the tomato pulp and stuff will go to the top and you can pour that off and dry your seeds and they should germinate from that. It cleans them up good. But we stuck them in the envelope, stuck in the freezer. Takes up less room that way. So every, every time we grow stuff in the garden, our freezers are full. So we've been blessed with a really good garden every year for a long time. So I dropped one of the seeds down in the hole, all the way through the tray, and then I started to cover it up. But he said, "Don't do that. We don't need to pack the seed down." So I went back to good old dirt bucket, and I got me a pinch of dirt and just dropped it on top of the thing. Really loose. Would you mind you tell me to do that? Well, I gotta push up through that soil, so oh. gotta, we try to make it as easy as possible. We'll wet it down good, which will settle the dirt around them, or the pot and soil. We bought a big bag of pot and soil back in the fall and hid it in the greenhouse. We live in a small town, and they put all that stuff up come fall. Oh yeah. They hide all of it, whatever they got left. We have one little hardware store we get our stuff from. I knew they'd hide it or put it up somewhere, so I bought a bag and put it back. There's not many people around here planting in January. It's just not a good time. And then I got out my knives, and I labeled them Abe Lincoln, and stuck them on each end of the rows that had a Abe Lincoln seeds in them, because I'm trying to do better at this labeling stuff so we don't end up with a mystery plant. Now, when we transplant them into bigger, we transplant them into bigger ones, right? This is right. what I was thinking. We'll transplant them at least once, if not twice more, before we get them to the garden. Once they come out of a tray like this and into the individuals, I'll do more labeling. Because that's where we messed up last time. We had them labeled pretty good in these trays. So we we had, just uh, got to do the individual pocket, too. We had 13 trays of plants, I think, last year, or 14. 
And somewhere down the line, yeah, we got a few mixed up. But we keep them labeled. <laughs> because, I mean, now, here... We knew what they was. I just didn't know which one was hot and which one was mild. And <laughs> True. We knew those peppers. But we are... Not only do we want to grow tomatoes before June, we also want to keep growing them... All year long. All year long. Well, into the... So that means... Deep into not, the fall. Abe Lincoln is not the only tomato we're planting. There's only 25... Eight Lincolns in here. The other 25 are going to be uh, early girl tomatoes. They grow really fast and they're pretty tough when it comes to the frost because it could frost here anywhere between second week of April to second week of uh, May. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not usual to see it in May, but it has frosted two weeks into it and killed a lot of people's plants around here. And the Erda girls seem to stand up to it pretty good. And what's that other one you said we're going to plant too? Uh, we're going to wait a few weeks and we're going to plant uh, Jet Star and Jet Setters. They done really well last year. They was consistent, made good sized tomatoes, made a lot of juice. They was just good all around tomato. Now mind you, we don't put all of these in the garden at one time. We staggered them out. No, they'll go in a, basically a roll at a time of a couple of weeks between them. That way we stretch our tomatoes to, you know, sometimes we stretch them to December. Yeah, I have taken my mom and tomatoes on Christmas. But you never know what Tennessee weather's going to do. It could turn all cold in October and it could stay warm all the way to December. So. Yeah, if we'd have wrapped the plants up this year, we'd probably still be getting tomatoes off of them. We'd have got them for another week or two. But, our you never weather, know. Our cold weather, you never know. It lasted, it froze the ground for Three nights, I think, here. I lost two hydrants, two two spigots off my waterworks out there in the garden. My rain catchment. Yeah. Before I even realized it, it had froze and busted two of them. But. We might could have worked and saved them, but we figured, well, winter was here. Boy, was we fooled. <laughs> Not yet. Just because calendar said it was, it wasn't. Doesn't mean it. But, I mean, this is a good start. Abe Lincoln's are planning. They have, what, 80-something days, you said? Almost 90 days. Yeah. That's why we have them to get started already. It takes a week to two weeks for them to germinate and come up, so. And it also gives us time to plant any that doesn't come up. That'll be the middle of April. We've got more than what it takes to make a roll. We get somewhere between 18 and 20 to a roll. So. So we get a few extras, we'll give them away or find another place to plant them or... They won't go to waste. Uh, never. So now we get to sit and wait and watch. Got to sprinkle a little water on them, get them going, and I'm in there with the watch rest of the them seeds. grow. If you watched our video from the other day, we've got lettuce and cabbage and broccoli and cauliflower and onions and all planted. Cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, onions, yep. Yeah. Got two kinds of cabbage, that's what I was trying to think yeah. of. That's right, I couldn't come up with the fifth one, but yeah. it'll join in. We'll put another grow lights and we'll do an update for too long. When we say start seeing some little sprouts come up, we'll touch back with it on this. Keep you up to date. Till then, happy planting. <laughs>